Today, I'm going to be showing you guys the best dribble moves in Season 2 of NBA 2K24. These moves are going to turn you from a bot into a dribble god. These dribble moves are very effective for short and tall guards. If you guys want a full dribble tutorial, let's aim for 1,000 likes, so make sure to subscribe if this video is helpful. Yo, what up, guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today, like I said, I'm going to be showing you guys the best dribble moves of Season 2 in NBA 2K24. Just to show proof that I am pretty good at this game, this is my record, 1,847 and 110. Now, the main mode I play the most is the 1v1 mode and as you guys know it's 1v1 there's nobody else on the court there's no teammates to bail you out so I gotta get open with my own dribble moves and this is my record okay so I think these dribble moves are valid and I think they're gonna help you get better at the game and I know a lot of people have been asking me what my controller settings are so these are literally it right here man if you want to pause the video screenshot it do what you need to do I don't think any of this really matters really until we get down to right here the pro stick function I have it on default pro stick orientation absolute off ball offense mode absolute this is what it's looking like who to guard on defensive assist strength on 50 i know a lot of people like it on 10 box out assist all this good stuff and this is what it is and if you haven't dropped a like already what are you doing drop a like if it's helping you out and in case y'all care this is my build it's a six foot nine shooting guard build 188 pounds seven three wingspan almost a 99 overall these are all the attributes in case you guys do care i'm just showing you guys that i can do all these moves with an 80 ball handle and a 75 speed with ball and this build is also really good too i would recommend making it now one of the most important dribble animations itself in the game is the dribble style animation now there's lots of different ones you can go with you know depending on what height you are but but overall the best one doesn't matter what height six foot one six foot two all the way to six foot nine the best one in the game in my opinion is the magic johnson dribble style now this dribble style is very effective and viable now with this dribble style you are able to speed boost with the same hand you know if the ball's in your right hand you're able to speed boost to the right with it and you're also able to get this very cheesy speed boost to the opposite ball hand okay let me show you guys how this magic johnson dribble style works now this build can only speed boost if i have playmaking takeover so any build six foot eight and below can normally speed boost without that that, but you know my build six foot nine it's a little bit cheesier um and that's why i use the magic johnson dribble style normally with play take it looks a lot faster but this is what the magic johnson dribble style looks like you know without takeover but the main reason we use it is for this reason right here look how cheesy this is like i said man you can do this animation it doesn't matter what height you can literally be five foot seven or you could be six foot nine now the tallest you can go to get this animation is six foot nine because six foot nine is the tallest you can go to get 75 speed with ball and that's what you need in order to get the magic johnson dribble style so once again this is what the magic johnson dribble style looks like i mean as you guys can see you know if you're on the left hand side you want to do a little speed boost you know throwing it down it can get you open for a dunk, mid-range, or even a three-point shot. Now, I mainly use it to get open for my mid-range shots, you know what I mean? If I'm doing this right here, boom, boom. Look, look how unguardable that is. That's actually insane, even though I bricked that shot. Now, I mainly use it for my mid-range shots because it's so cheesy. Like, bro, how are you able to guard this? And then someone just pulls up for mid-range. I know I missed that, but yeah, it's super cheesy. Now, like I said, I am six foot nine, but for the shorter guards watching this video, I know a lot of people make, you know, builds about six foot four or under. And if you're going six foot four, I would definitely recommend the Kyrie Irving dribble style. This dribble style for shorter guards is amazing. It's a quick burst. It's nice. It gets you open. So I would definitely recommend the Kyrie Irving dribble style. Like I said, the main reason why I use Magic Johnson is because it has that like quick crossover to the off ball hand. And the same goes for the signature size up. If you guys are six foot four or shorter, I would highly recommend the Steve Francis signature size up. Some of the six foot four comp guards this year in the stage are rocking Steve Francis, and they're also rocking the De'Aaron Fox size up as well. I mean, look at this, man. It's quick. You know what I mean? It's just overall quick. It's going to make your player way faster, 10 times faster. So if you're shorter, make sure you guys use these animations as well. Now, if you're six foot ten and you like to dribble, as you guys would know, you do not get the Magic Johnson dribble style, but you do unlock Pro, and I think anybody can get this. So let's show you guys what it looks like. Now, obviously, this dribble style is not as fast as the Magic Johnson, but you know, if you're six foot ten or above, this looks pretty quick. I mean, most of the time, if you're six foot ten, you're going to be matched up against someone who's way taller. So this may be pretty hard to defend but this is the pro dribble style i would recommend using it like i said if you are six foot ten or above all right man for the signature size up i don't even really use this too much but i think Dwayne wade is probably the best one let me know down below in the comment sections which one do you guys use um i mean kobe is restricted because i have to have an 88 ball handle but this looks pretty good as well but like i said man let me know down below in the comment section i'm using d wade at the moment so for the regular breakdown combo signature style i am currently using ray for austin now you cannot equip this move until you hit start 
starter three so i know a lot of you guys aren't starter three yet because it is a grind you have to have about 2,000 part games played but if you're already starter three or you're looking to grind to hit starter three ray for austin is my opinion the best regular breakdown combo move in the game now the reason why i like this move the most is because he moves the ball from one hand to the other quick okay and you're able to cross over out of any move you want and with a defender guarding you he's not going to know which hand you're going to speed boost out of so it's pretty tricky it's like a mind game that's why i like using it so let me show you guys how the Rafer Austin regular breakdown combo works. So all you want to do is flick up on the right stick and you'll get this animation right there. And as you guys can see, I mean, I'm letting the whole animation play out. You know, he's moving, okay? So let's break this down. So you can flick up and then literally like speed boost out of any ball hand. But like I was saying, this move is effective because you can literally like speed boost out of it from any ball hand. I mean, you can literally do one bounce and dribble or you could even do it twice. Like watch, you can let the ball go boom, boom cross over to the right you could even let the animation play out more like boom boom and then speed boost out of it you know what i mean you can literally like speed boost out of this animation at any time you want i mean if you want to you can literally let the animation play all the way out like watch all the way out hit a little sham god boom speed boost out of it okay but normally if you're in a comp scene this move is effective by you know just either doing it once or letting the ball bounce twice and then speed boost out of it just like that so this is what the Ray for Austin looks like. Let me show you guys the next best one. Now, the next best regular breakdown comma move is the Zach Levine, in my opinion. It's similar to Ray for Austin in the sense of you can speed boost out of any hand. So let's break it down and show you guys how it works as well. So this is what the Zach Levine looks like. You know, it's a little slower than the Ray for Austin, but still very effective. Now watch, if you flick up, if the ball's in your left hand, you can flick up and then speed boost over to the left. So like I said, it's kind of similar to Ray for Austin if you're not starter three already. So you can just kind of boom, boom, speed boost. Boom, boom, speed boost. Or you can let the animation play out even longer and speed boost again, you know, using the Magic Johnson dribble style. So those are the best two regular breakdown combo moves in NBA 2K24. Now for the aggressive breakdown combo, I'm pretty sure at starter three, you unlock DeMar DeRozan. I'm pretty sure this is unlockable at starter three reputation. And it's the one I'm currently using right now. But if you don't get this one, I would definitely recommend using the Michael Jordan. But we're going to break down both and show you why they're both very effective in this game. First, let's go over the DeMar DeRozan aggressive breakdown combo move. All right, so for the aggressive breakdown combo, it's similar to the regular breakdown combo, but... Um, instead of just flicking up on the right stick, you're going to want to hold R2 at the same time. And this is the animation you're going to get. Boom, boom, boom. You see that? All right. So it's kind of similar to the, just the regular breakdown in terms of speed boosting out of the off ball hand using the Magic Johnson dribble style. Okay. The Magic Johnson dribble style is the best dribble move in the game. Okay. Especially if you're a taller guard. So with the DeMar DeRozan, you're going to want to hold R2, flick up on the right stick. And you know, it's kind of like the old one. The last one I just showed you guys, you can literally speed boost out of it anytime you want. Like, like boom watch this watch this boom boom just like that so let's go over to demar DeRozan one more time you just hold r2 flick up on the right stick you know what i mean and you can speed boost out of it anytime you want so that's what it looks like now let's go over the michael jordan one all right so this is what the michael jordan aggressive breakdown combo looks like it kind of reminds me of the og kobe bryant escape from nba 2k16 now if you can speed boost normally to the same ball hand this move is even more effective let's break it down one more time hold r2 flick the right stick up and look at that man you can speed boost out of it anytime you want and like i said man if you can speed boost with the same ball hand depending on your height this move is even more effective what i like to do is if the ball's in my right hand you know i mean i flick up and then once i flick up with the Michael Jordan breakdown, he's going to cross over in between his legs over to the left. And then I like to do the Magic Johnson dribble style over to the right. And this is what it looks like. Boom, boom. Right. You see that? Now, if you want to let the animation play out a little more, you can flick up on the right stick while holding R2 and you can speed boost out of it anytime you want. So the defender is going to be confused. He's not going to know which hand you're going to speed boost out of. And this is why the Magic Johnson dribble style move is very effective. So for the escape moves, I'm currently using John Wall, and I believe this is the best one. And the main reason why I use this is to crab the defender. As you guys know, if someone's playing up a lot and you really want to get that three off, um, you know, the escape moves is the best animation to to crab your defender and keep them behind you so they won't contest your shot so let's show you guys what the john wall escape move looks like in nba 2k24 so to activate this move if the ball's in your left hand you just hold r2 and flick the right stick to the right and you kind of get that little animation right there so if the defender is behind you you want to make sure you want to crab them and get open you just kind of hold r2 and flick the right stick to the right and you get that little crab animation and if you want to do it to the off ball hand if the ball is in your left hand you just hold r2 and flick the right stick to the right 
and you're gonna get that animation right there so this is what the john wall escape looks like it's very effective and it crabs your defender every single time so for the combo move dribble animation which not many people talk about we use the De'Aaron fox the De'Aaron fox is the most effective and it gets you open and it sets you up for another combo that you can do in the game now i've tested out lebron it's kind of slow not really good kevin durant you can unlock this at starter three and it's still not as good as the De'Aaron fox one so let's break it down and show you guys why De'Aaron fox combo move is the best one in 2k24 so this is what the De'Aaron fox combo move looks like in nba 2k24 you know it's very effective and you can use that magic johnson's dribble style out of it like i said man the magic johnson's dribble style is the most effective move and you're gonna be able to combo these with all the other animations as well like i said man you can literally spam this move and do the magic johnson dribble style out of it it's very effective so let me know what you guys think i think this is probably one of the best ones in the game and if you guys are still watching make sure you drop a like obviously you know you're enjoying the video and it's helping you out so make sure you guys drop a like and subscribe for more tip videos but moving on to the crossover the best one in the game i don't care what anyone has to say it is the john wall it gives you an insane speed boost and i'm going to show you guys how this move is effective so let's go ahead and show you guys how to do it now i will say with the john wall crossover this move is even more effective on the 3v3 court because the more space the better but basically this is what it looks like all you gotta do is run and boom you get that quick speed boost it's literally flicking the right stick to the opposite ball hand um, while driving up towards the rim so as you guys can see the ball's in my left hand i'm gonna run up and then flick my right stick directly up into the right and this is what it looks like boom it gives you that quick speed boost i kind of messed up let me show you guys one more time and boom that's what it looks like okay so i do this a lot out of the triple threat and this move is very effective so let me show you guys one more time the john wall crossover boom just like that okay and it actually crabs the defender while going to the rim let me show you guys one more time so pretend you're running up the court and you want to do the john wall crossover this is what it looks like going up boom just like that quick speed boost it gets you open now one thing i will say about this move is make sure the defender isn't too close because with this move it can get plucked really easily i've learned my lesson you cannot do this close to the defender the defender's got to be kind of like you know a couple feet out in order for you to pull off this move but that is what it looks like right there the john wall crossover moving on to the behind the back animation the one i'm currently using right now is james harden but the best one in the game is jamal murray hands down the reason i'm using james harden is because I can't get Jamal Murray on a six foot nine guard. You know, you have to have an 83 ball handle. As you guys can see the requirements at the bottom left of the screen, you need an 83 ball handle, but my six foot nine guard does not get it. But James Harden, in my opinion, is basically almost the same exact animation. Um, and I've noticed I don't get ripped as much even out of the James Harden move. So, you know, it's funny. This one, you get it at six foot nine and it's pretty much just as good. And it gets you open just as much as the Jamal Murray. But you know what I mean? It's really, it's basically the same animation. So it's up to you guys, either the Jamal Murray or the James Harden, you guys can choose. But let me show you guys why the James Harden behind the back is very OP. And this is what it looks like. Basically, all you gotta do is hold R2 and flick the right stick down into the opposite ball hand. Boom, that's what it looks like. And like I said, out of these animations, I know I'm repeating myself a lot, but out of all these animations, you can speed boost with the Magic Johnson dribble style. So you could literally hit him, you know, with the James Harden behind the back, just like this, and then do the Magic Johnson dribble style to the opposite ball hand. So it's pretty good. And if you guys want to learn how to like spam the um, behind the back, kind of like this, boom. If you guys want to know that, make sure you guys do get a thousand likes on this video and I'll show you guys how to do it. But that's what the James Harden um, behind the back looks like. Very effective, gets you open for three and is very OP on NBA 2K24. For the spin, you can basically use whatever. Spin moves really aren't effective this year like they were in NBA 2K23. So I don't think they're really effective, but you guys let me know down below in the comment section, which spin do you guys use? All right, so for the hesitation, which is a very important move and people sleep on the hesitation animation. Now I've heard good things about the John Morant hesitation, but for me at being six foot nine, the best one in the game is the John Wall hesitation. This animation gives you a crazy amount of space, especially when you're trying to take the ball out. So let me show you guys why it's effective. All right, so this is what the John Wall hesitation looks like. I'm gonna run over to the left and do it. Boom, gives you that big hezzy that opens you up for a wide open dunk or a mid range shot, or hey, even a three point shot. Now, the main reason why I use this, like I said in the beginning of the video, I play a lot of 1v1. Now, the main reason I use the John Wall animation, like I said at the beginning of the video, I've mainly played the 1v1 mode, and this right here is why. So imagine I get the rebound after someone misses, I can just run out and hit them with this right here. 
boom speed boost all the way to the rim just like that the defender is not expecting it and as you guys can see the jaw wall hesitation gives a huge amount of space look at that and if you even if you want to get open for three look at that boom you can speed boost right out of it pull up from three obviously i didn't knock the shot down but you guys saw how much space that gives I'm gonna show you guys one more time look i'm trying to take the ball out boom hesitation and you can even hit moves out of that as well look at me you can run baseline with it the move is op so make sure you guys put on the john wall hesitation so for the step back i am currently using chris paul now let me explain to you guys why i think chris paul on a six foot nine guard is better than john wall now if you use the magic johnson dribble style like me the chris paul step back is going to be way 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 better because you can actually use it out of the step back if you have the john wall animation it's very good and honestly the step back itself the john wall step back is better than chris paul but you cannot Magic Johnson out of it, okay? That's the only bad thing about the step back. Let me show you guys what the Chris Paul step back looks like. All right, man, so this is what it looks like. You get that animation right there, and you also get that big hop back, okay? So you're able to do this all you want, okay? You can do this, boom, hit the Magic Johnson out of it. Let me do it one more time for you. I messed up, boom, okay? So that is why I use the Chris Paul step back. You get that beautiful animation, and you can also do the Magic Johnson out of it. Now, let me show you guys what the John Wall looks like. All right, so this is what the John Wall step back looks like. Boom, look at that. Creates way more space than the Chris Paul. But even though this John Wall step back is effective, if you're six foot nine and you like to use the Magic Johnson dribble style, you're not able to speed boost out of the John Wall step back, okay? So this is what it looks like, the step back, boom, right? Now, if you wanna speed boost out of it using the Magic Johnson, you can. This is what it looks like, okay? So if you're not a Magic Johnson dribble style abuser like me, then the John Wall step back is the best bet for you. But if not, I would definitely go with the Chris Paul. For the triple threat style, I would definitely use Kobe Bryant. There's a lot of good moves out of it. You can do lots of spin moves out of it. At starter three, you do get Michael Jordan where you can kind of do a little like pass fake, palm the ball. It's cool and all, but I still think that the Kobe Bryant triple threat style is the best one in the game. So that's it for the video, man. These are the best dribble moves in season two of NBA 2K24. If you guys want a dribble tutorial, let's get a thousand likes. I'm gonna see you guys in the next one, man. I'm out, peace.